And now, Journey to Success with Pete Asmus. Tonight, mindset to action steps and everything in between. We are about you, focusing on what you need to get to that next level. So get ready, get excited, because we are about to get started. From coast to coast, your host, Pete, Pete, the visionary visionary pitbull, Pitbull. Asmus. Asmus. All right. So today, tonight, we are, um, let's see, what is it? It's Sunday, right? We're Sunday, uh, March 23rd. This is every day now that I'm doing these videos and I'm getting more into the daily videos. I I actually know the days of the week or or the days of the month every day because I I keep doing these things and um, I have to label my videos. So today is March 23rd. I'm totally excited to be here tonight. Um, I'm really looking forward to because today is the first uh, the first step in the new series, right? So today we're starting Force Your Dreams Into Reality. If you guys have not had a chance to go and uh, get that book and read it, I wrote that book. It's an ebook. Go right now and download that book. All you got to do is go to forceyourdreams.com. That's F-O-R-C-E-D-R-E-A-M-S. Force, no, man, see, I can't, I can't do too many things at once, right? And spell is not one of my strong suits. So then spelling out of thin air is not really good for me. But forceyourdreams.com. We'll have that later on in the um, presentation showing you exactly um, what that is, but it's super easy. Go download the book. It's only 40 pages. All right. The the book I'm writing right now, questions are uh, the key. That one's already, I think, 55 pages right now. And I, I still have two chapters left to write on it. Um, and, and it doesn't even have any pictures in it yet. It has nothing in it yet. Um, this one's 40 pages all wrapped up. So it's really the shorthand manual for you guys to take action. Now, my name is Pete Asmus. I am the host tonight. I'm going to be the host of the entire series. I came up with this webinar um, a little over a year ago now, which is just crazy to me. Um, And this is our journey to success. And the cool part about this is it's our journey. So what I love is that I want you guys to have input. I want you guys to, to, to be part of this journey. It's not just about me. It's about you too. And last week, we kind of started getting into that. And it's crazy that it's taken me a year to finally get this to the point where it's ready to to move to the next step, but it's now ready. So we're going to be creating a a thinking to succeed apprenticeship um, that that, that is being made. It's going to be launching on April 1st. Um, It'll be $97 a month for three months. Then the second three months are free. All all you'll ever pay is $97 a month for for that program. I mean, that's it. I mean, I'm sorry, $300 maximum. Um, for three months. And then after that, it, it's, there is no more charging because that's not why I'm doing it. The, the thing is, is I want, I want to make sure that when you come into this program, that you're going to stick out what I'm saying to do. $97 isn't even really enough to make people do that, but at least it's enough to catch your attention, right? I mean, it's a hundred bucks a month. So at least people aren't just throwing that away, right? So it's got to have some amount of value. And I didn't want it to be so expensive that it was crazy that you'd never keep doing it. My, my, my goal, my objection, objective, in this is to get you to the next level of you. And that's what this program is going to do. Um, And I'll go into a little bit more about what that's going to be later on in this program too. But the main point of tonight is going to be showing you how you're not, when you're looking to find your balloon, and I'm going to explain this to you right now, you're you're looking, (laughs) when you try and look everywhere for your balloon, you're, you're looking in the wrong direction. And this is what I mean. There was a, 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 a seminar or something that somebody did, and I heard this story, and I, and I absolutely loved it. And I eventually want to do this at some point. But this is what happened. They, they, they basically had about 2,000 people in a, um, in a seminar, in a workshop, right? And on the 2,000 people, they had everybody take a balloon. And they all wrote their name. And maybe it wasn't 2,000. Maybe it was like 500. I don't know. It was a lot of people. It wasn't eight though, right? So, so let's, let's say 500 for like easier to understand and digest. 500 people are in a room. We give everybody their own balloon and they have them write their name on it. Then we take all of the balloons and we put them in another room. Now, I tell you, you have five minutes to find your own balloon. And you guys all run in there and you start looking. And I'm going to tell you right now, 15, 20 minutes are going to go by and you guys aren't going to have your balloons. You won't even know where they are. Why? Because immediately, the moment we open up the doors, you guys run in and you're frantically looking, right? You're looking, nope, not there, nope, not there, nope, not there, 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 right? But the moment they stopped that and they said, everybody grab a balloon. Everybody took a balloon. Now, hand the balloon back to its owner. It only took five minutes for everybody to get their balloons. 
five minutes. Now, what's the point of that? What's the point of understanding that when you're looking for something everywhere that it's hard to find, yet what you have, you can supply to somebody else to provide their happiness, to provide their necessity, to provide the key to their lock, right? What I want you guys to understand is the reason that I'm doing all of this is you. The reason that we're doing Journey to Success is you. And so you need to rise up. You need to realize that you have a gift in here. I change it to my new, um, I don't know if you guys all watch my, my motivational videos, but the video I did today, man, was awesome. And at the very end, I'm going to show you this real quick. Let me, let me show you what I'm talking about. Where is it? Uh, here we go. So here's the new video, right? Clarity is power. And the thing that I love about this, let me show you the very end, right? So, so um, as you come over here, have a fantastic day. Wait. Oh, wait, no, that was right. So come in here. It goes through here, right? And that's our logo for Go Make Something Happen. You are seriously amazing. Make the most of your life. I think that so many times you guys don't understand the fact that everything inside of you, who you are, is incredible. And if you would start focusing on what you have to offer, what you can do for other people, how you can affect other people in a positive way, then you can start supplying other people's balloons to them, right? And the reality is, as you start doing that, people are going to start giving you their balloons too. Or your balloon. You know what I'm saying though, right? The, the, the idea is that you focus on those around you and then those around you are going to focus on you. So I want you guys to focus on that tonight. Understand that tonight's message is all about that the reason is you. Clarity is power. When you know what you want, when you know what you want, it's easier to go get. If you don't know what you want, how do you really aim at it? Seriously, let's, let's take this for a second. Everybody right now, I want you to think of what you were thinking of when, when somebody would say two, three years ago, right? Or, or go back to when you were a kid. When they'd say, what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be rich. I want to be a doctor. I want to be a whatever, right? But it, was, it wasn't clear, right? Now, some people were like, I want to be a doctor. I want to be an anesthesiologist, da, 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 da. And typically, those people are doctors and anesthesiolo anesthesiologists, right? They had a very clear goal of what they wanted. But then there's other people like us, and we're floating through life. And it's, well, what do you want? I want to be rich. Okay. <laughs> Poof. You're rich. You're rich. Everybody listening to me right now is rich. And if you're saying to me, well, no, that's not true. I'm going to say bullshit. You go look at a third world country and then look at your lifestyle and tell me if you think you're rich or not. Go look at the kids that are eating rocks to fill up their stomachs. Go look at the people eating grass, eating plants, right? In Africa, in, in, in like really bad third world countries. And then tell me that you, you're not rich when you're living inside of a house that has electricity, <laughs> indoor plumbing, and you can go and buy food, right? Now, some of you may be going, man, you know what, Pete? It's kind of sketchy. Like buying food right now is kind of rough. Okay, let's say that you do go into the fact that, okay, now, now you don't have any money. So now you've got to go on welfare. Well, Pete, I'm on welfare. I'm poor. Again, you're living inside of a house. You have food to eat. Let me tell you how the person with no house and no food is going to tell you, man, you are smoking crack, brother. You are rich. So stop looking at what you don't have. Stop looking at Kim Kardashian or stop looking at, you know, lifestyles of the rich and famous and going, I don't have that. So I don't, I'm, I'm not good enough. I'm not this. I'm not that. Here's what is real. Those people, if you live in a poor neighborhood, chances are you're not doing business with your neighbors. Okay, so we know that the 10 people that we hang around most is a good reflection of us in anything, spiritually, monetarily, you know, the mindset wise anyway, right? If you look at that category, look at the people that you hang around, 10 people, and they're going to be a reflection of you. So the question is, if you don't like you, spin out of that group of people and go lock into a different group. If everybody around you is negative, stop hanging around them and go find new friends. 
Go listen to new things. Does that make sense? You guys have to start reaching outside of that box, getting outside of that comfort zone. And we're going to talk about that too. So tonight is really about showing you what you can do and what the possibilities are when you really have a clear vision of what you want. So um, with that, I'm going to go ahead and get started and not stay on the same exact uh, screen for the first, you know, 45 minutes to an hour. Um, I'm going to I'm going to do my best to actually go through this um, and, and make it a little bit more interesting and fun. Now, remember, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and um, I love being rich. Go ahead and, and check out the, the side over here, the questions. You can ask any question you want. Um, there will be a Q&A part as well, but I really, I, I, I want you guys to understand that tonight I do want participation. In fact, moving forward, I want participation from you guys. I want you to realize that this class is as much yours as it is mine. That this adventure, that this webinar, whatever you want to call it, I don't want to call it a class, so we're not going to call it that. We're going to call it an adventure. This, this journey, this adventure that we're going to go on for the next 10 weeks, guys, buckle down. 10 weeks, I want you to be with me. 10 weeks, I want you to be on this call with me. Now, I asked everybody last week to do goals, to write them down. And I, and I asked everybody, please, you know, tell me you're going to do it. And I'm going to show you guys our results today. Some of you have done it. And some of you have gotten really cool results because of it too. I saw people that were posting things and I saw other people chiming in going, man, this is so inspirational. And I, I've got a question. How did that make you feel? How did you feel when other people that maybe you know really well, maybe you don't know so well, because I don't know how what kind of relationship you have with them, but when they were posting on there and saying, man, that's awesome. Man, that's great. That's, that's amazing. Keep going. How did that make you feel? Because to me, it made me feel awesome that they were writing that for you. And I was like, man, this is why I'm doing this. This is what I want. I want that feedback. Because for me, man, that gets me going. I love that kind of feedback. I'm not doing this for money. I'm doing this to make a difference. I'm doing this to create a movement. I'm doing this to change your life. For you to change your life. Not for me to do it, right? But for you to do it. And the reality is we all have a balloon. And the thing about it is the balloon keeps replicating, right? So I can give that a balloon away and I have more. I have more, I have more. And I want to keep giving the balloon away, but the reality, well, the reality, I keep saying that, but I also need to get other people's balloons, right? It can't just be me giving away my balloon all the time. I need balloons too. And for me, for Pete, the balloon is, is the, the, the you changed my life, is the, is the feeling of knowing that I'm making a difference. That's what I love hearing. That's what I love seeing. I want to make a difference. So let me know if I'm doing it right. Let me know if I'm doing a good job. Let me know if, if I suck, man. Tell me. It's okay. I'm, I'm a big boy. I can take these things. Because without knowing that it's working, I'm not going to continue. Or I'm going to start changing things. And then maybe you're going to fall off because you're like, ah, it's not as interesting now. He went in a different direction. But I didn't know any different. Because I'm just doing what I, I think is right. And what I would want to see. Honestly, that's really what I'm doing. And, and if this wasn't fun, I'd stop doing it. But it is fun to me. It's not always fun, but it's a growing thing. Like for me, growing is, is fun. See, again, going back to the way that I look at things and the way that you need to start changing the way you look at things. For me, I look at challenge as, as exciting. I look at growth as fun. When, when things are crashing around me, I look at it as an opportunity and I, and I get excited because I know things are about to get shaken up and I know I'm about to get leveraged into an even better position. And that happened yet again last week. And this week coming up, by next Sunday, I'm going to be able to share with you guys what, what, is, what the new thing is happening for us right now. That's, that's just incredible. And I mean, I just, I can't, I can't. It's hard for me to believe that all these things keep happening. But the reason, the reason that these things are happening is because I've written them down. I made them goals. I wrote them down every day over and over and over and over and over and over. And I made videos and I told you what I wanted to do over and over. But you guys so many times are going, well, man, I did it for like a month and like, now I'm tired, Pete. I mean, I'm tired. Okay. 
So now get out of line. And then as soon as you're ready to get all back into it, right? Get back in line and then show me how pissed you are that you're way back there now and how it's all unfair, right? But how would you have avoided that? How could you have avoided that? You could have avoided that by pulling up your big boy pants and staying in line and toughing through it, roughing through it. Man, this sucks right now. Yep, no problem. Right, it sucks, but who cares? Because I want to get to the next level. And so sometimes, man, there'll be a week that goes by where it's like nobody's watching anything I'm doing. Nobody's, I, I feel like nobody's watching anything I'm doing. I feel like nobody's seeing anything that I'm writing. And I just kind of, it, it, it like bums me out. And I'm thinking, man, I'm not impacting anybody right now. Like, what do I got to do? And, but I just keep doing the same thing, same thing. And then bam, all of a sudden, It'll, it'll pop and somebody's like, man, that was so awesome. Thank you so much for it. I, I listen to these things every single day and it impacts my life in such a great way. But I, I realize that everybody can't write a positive comment every single day. That's not realistic. It's just not. It, it, it really isn't, right? But the fact is they can write them. They can at least like them, <laughs> okay? But they are watching them, so that's a great thing. And that's why I do it. I mean, it is. And, and the other thing is, is that it, it, it's sort of documenting my life. I mean, to some degree, like when I look at them, Man, it's weird. When I look at the ends of these right now, like here, let me show you what I'm talking about. Um, whoa, no, don't cancel or don't do that. End webinar. Nope, nope, okay. Um, when I go over here to the end of these things, the the sound, like it makes me, it, it makes me think that um, that I'm doing, like, have you ever seen those like videos where they put them all together, right? And it's, wait, where'd it go? I don't know. Yeah, you guys can't even hear this, can you? So it doesn't even matter. Never mind. Um, but it's the music at the end of them. It's it's it almost seems like man, it it it's culminating, right? And and I could see a best of video sequence where where I'm just putting in these different videos of my girls from a long time ago, and like it kind of made me sad today thinking about it because I was like almost going like man, I, I could almost do a best of right now, and I could put together these videos that show the girls almost as they're growing. And it's, it's, I don't know, it's, it's different. It's different to think about that. It's different to think that I'm actually like cataloging their life and how much they're doing now. And I mean, like Haley today saying, yeah, if you want to register for it, it's like saying the whole entire sentence out there and, and really getting into it. And like, they're enjoying doing it now. And so for me, it's, it's almost like, how do you not, how do you not support that? How do you not love that? How do you not want to give that back even more? And that's why for me, it's, it's okay, well, what do we, what can we do more? How do we really get this to go? Right. How do we really get this to take off? And that's what led me to, um, that's what led me to doing the thinking to succeed apprenticeship. So anyways, I'll, I'm, I'll, we'll get into that in a second. Let me just take a drink here real quick. All right. Sorry. Okay. Here we go. Um, we do this every Sunday night at 6 PM. Um, the only times I don't do this is if I'm actually on a plane um, or driving from Phoenix. It seems like that's the only times that it's I, I haven't been able to do this, um, but I will always be here. So make sure you're here as well. The next 10 weeks we're going to be doing this. This um, series is going to be all about forcing your dreams into reality. We're going to go through each chapter each week. This week is the intro. So the intro is titled. It's all about you because that's what the book's all about. It's all about you. Um, go make something happen dot com was developed because of Journey to Success. So if this is your first Journey to Success, welcome to this. Um, the Go Make Something Happen movement is all about shattering who you are for who you want to become. Meaning that you've got to be willing to, to shatter those walls, those red lights, everything that's in front of you that's preventing you from moving forward. And then you've got to be willing to become the person that says yes, the person that sees, excuse me, gosh, green lights, right? You've got to be willing to run full charge at your dream, at your destiny, and not be worried about all these other things that are getting in the way because all they're going to do is stop you from moving forward. That's it. And if you need problems moving forward, just start making them up yourself. You certainly don't need anybody else to give you any, right? I mean, you have enough of your own excuses to prevent you from doing things. So stop allowing other people to, to give you their insight too. It's not helping you. 
All it's doing is, is it's, it's preventing you from becoming who you really want to become. So what you need to start doing is shattering who you are for who you want to become. Meaning when you're afraid to take that call, you take the call because what would the person that you want to be do when you're, when you're about to make a decision, think about this, the person that I want to become, how would they react in this situation? What would they do differently than what I'm about to do? Questions are so amazing because they can change the trajectory of your life. They can change the trajectory of a situation, of a confrontation, or of an argument, right? But the reality is you've got to be willing to ask the questions and then understand what the answers mean. Meaning you don't say, how can I do this? And then you get the answer and go, yeah, well, that's not going to be fun. Pew, and then shoot the other way. It's not about that. It's about truly becoming that bigger person. And sometimes that's going to be growing that comfort zone. So we're going to be talking about that tonight too. All right. Now, the biggest part to me, if you really think about it in, in really attaining your goals is, or I'm sorry, in really attaining success is going to be writing down your goals and writing them down super clear. Last week we started the challenge. I had somebody ask me today if they could get, um, if they could get started in the 21 day challenge. Absolutely. The thing is, don't wait to get started. Get started right now. Don't wait for it to start again in 21 days or whatever it is. You can start that right now. And we're going to talk about some different things. In fact, I'll probably put together a campaign for that as well. I just got to get, uh, there's just a lot of stuff to do to, to build out all these different programs. And my main concern and focus right now is the Thinking to Succeed Apprenticeship because I really want to help build out this program. And, and I'm going to show you exactly why I'm so excited about it in a little bit. Okay. Um, all right. So when we talk about your goals, the first question is, do you believe you can do it? Now, if you put down, if, if let's say you've never made a million dollars ever, and now you're going to put down your goal of in two weeks, I want to make a million dollars. That's just being kind of dumb, right? I mean, you're basically setting yourself up for failure. You're not equipped to do that goal. Now, it doesn't mean when we say 10 times your goals, we don't mean a million times square your goals, right? I mean, I don't mean take it from a penny to over a trillion dollars. That, that's not the kind of um, multipl multiplier that we're referring to. We're referring to if you've made, you know, a hundred grand in your life, right? In a year, you, you're, you're making like a hundred grand a year, then jump that thing up to three, four hundred grand. That's great. But don't say I'm going to make a million dollars in two weeks because you don't have the right tools to do that. And when you don't do it, you're going to get frustrated and go, well, this doesn't really work when, well, you're just being unrealistic. We've got to, we've got to realistically look at where we are. Okay. This, this isn't time to be all fantasy right now. Right now, when you're looking at your, your location, when you're, when you're basically saying, okay, this is where I'm located, you've got to be realistic about it. You've got to look at yourself and go, look, I'm in debt this much. I'm in this. I'm in that. I'm in this. These are the tools that I have. I have connections with this person, this person, this person, and this person. Now with that, what can I do? How do I get where I want to go? And what am I going to need to do? What am I going to need to get there? Now, if you need to make $4,000 a month, then your goal should be making 30, 40 grand a month because the drive that it's going to take to make that much money, you're probably going to fall short of 40 grand, but you may make eight or nine. That's going to be okay because you only needed 40 or four. That's what we mean by the 10 times your goal. That's at least that's what we mean right? I'm not saying that's what everybody means. I'm not saying that's what Grant Cardone means. I'm not saying that's what Ivan even means. I'm saying that's what I mean. All right. And when we're talking about thinking to succeed apprenticeship, when we're talking about journey to success, we're talking about my vision and, and, and my, my idea, I guess, on, on things. And the reason I'm saying this is because look, when you talk about problems, when you talk about the, the reason I feel like I'm an expert in this field is I've, I've dropped a hundred pounds. I, I used to weigh 260. I weigh 160 now. I used to chew. I used to be homeless. Um, I mean, and I wasn't homeless last week, right? I was homeless when I was 18 um, and, and I lived on the streets and everything else. And then I joined the Navy and it was a long road to get where I am. My son had brain cancer. My daughter has alopecia. I have all kinds of reasons and excuses that anybody would love to have to prevent me from getting where I want to go. But the reality is I stopped letting those things do that. And I just, blew through them. I hear people say, well, I had this person pass away last week, or I had this, look, I've had my grandma pass away. I've had this happen. I, 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 can, I can identify and I can even empathize 
with all of your problems and all of your issues because I've had tons of things happen. But the thing is, until you realize that nobody cares, and in fact, you shouldn't even really care, not meaning that if somebody were to pass away, you should be like, oh, well, whatever, it doesn't matter, but meaning that it shouldn't stop your life from moving forward. And that's what we all do. Meaning that if something bad happens, you don't allow it to stop your life from forward momentum. Meaning you don't get out of line. But we do that. We do that and we justify it. And everybody around us justifies it, right? Because all of our poor friends aren't making any money either. So we all say, no, 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 don't worry about it. You're right, you're right. It's poor you, poor you, poor you. And now six months, eight months, a year goes by and you're nowhere closer to where you wanted to be and you're going, this sucks. Nothing ever works. I can never get a leg up. Well, you're never consistent. You never do it over and over and over. You never do it to that point that nothing can get in your way. That's when success happens. When you're so driven that you're like Moses and you go crack with your, with your staff and that sea just parts. And the problem with your friend goes away. And this person who wanted to commit suicide goes away. And this person who, the, the, uh, the grandma that, that passed away and your, your brother or your sister or your friend that has cancer now and these problems and these problems. And look, I get them. I seriously, I do like everybody has a ton of problems. But the fact is that if you let everybody's problems get in your way, you're never going to get anywhere. And I'm, I, I'm seriously like, I'm, I feel bad because I feel like I'm being such a dick sometimes by saying this and, and that, that people just don't understand. They're like, man, you just, you're just rude. And it's not true. Like I was crushed. I was crying. Like every day when my son had cancer and I thought he was going to die and I, and, and I just, I had no idea what to do. And then when he made it through, he showed me that like all I was doing was living off of what if this happened and what if that happened and what if this happened? And my whole life was going through all this pain that never even occurred. It never even occurred. It occurred all up here. And then I realized, well, if I could make all that negative, bad crap happen up in my head, then why can't I reverse that and have all the good stuff happen up in my head, right? So then I started focusing on, well, what if the good things happened? What if this good thing happened? And what if that good thing happened? And I stopped being able to see all the bad shit that was in my life. I just stopped seeing it. I stopped seeing it. What do you mean? I mean... I don't know. I, I mean, I didn't look at it anymore. I mean, when the what if this happened, I'd go, oh, crap, I don't want to see that. Where's something positive that can, that can, that can uh, override that? And I'd go, well, what if this happened? Well, what if you can't pay your mortgage? Well, what if all of a sudden I'm able to, to, to buy two houses? Well, that would change it, wouldn't it? Yeah, okay. So how could I go about buying two houses? And all of a sudden I took this shiny dot diamond and I moved it over here and I stopped looking at the what if I couldn't pay my mortgage? And guess what? I haven't had a problem. I keep paying it. <laughs> I don't know how it happens sometimes, but it does. Things always seem to work out. Well, they just seem to work out for you. No, they seem to work out for me because I'm working them to work out. Because I don't look at all the things that could go bad and then go, what if they go bad? And then prepare for that bad thing to happen, basically making it happen. Do you know what I mean? This is what I mean. Have you guys ever been in a situation where... You're, you're basically going, man, I don't want to, I, I, I seriously don't want to drive. I don't want to fall asleep while I'm driving. I don't want to fall asleep while I'm driving. I don't want to fall asleep while I'm driving. I don't want to fall asleep when I'm driving. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Well, what, what the hell happened? You fell asleep while you were driving. Why? Because you were sitting there in a mantra, right? I don't want to fall asleep while I'm driving. I don't want to fall asleep while I'm driving. And you basically put yourself to sleep. You created it to happen. When if you would have said, man, I am so excited to be awake. I am so excited to be awake. I'm so excited to be awake. Now your focus is all going to you being excited to be awake, not, I hope I don't go to sleep. Does that make sense? I hope so. Um, because for me, the goals, understanding, clarity is power. Listen to me. Clarity is power. The clearer the goal the more successful you're going to be. I swear to you. And what do I mean by that? I mean, when you say, look, I want to be a real estate investor that's flipping 15 houses a week, has 
X number of employees that can do, and, and, the, and this is how you're working it out going, okay, if I want to do 15 houses, I'm going to need to do this and this and this, and all these things are going to have to happen in order for that to happen. And you start working backwards, reverse engineer it. Where do you want to be? But my God, you've got to know where you want to be to reverse engineer it. You can't reverse engineer. Hey, can you, um, can you, oh man, why can't I have something here? Can you guys reverse engineer this for me? That's what it, it, it's one of those. Can you reverse engineer that for me? Well, what is it? Well, I, it's right there. Well, well, yeah, but okay, well, what is it, Pete? It's right here, man. I'm showing you it. it yeah, but you're only showing us one side of it. Yeah? Well, you just told me you wanted to be rich, so I'm just showing you I want you to make me this. Yeah, but, but we can't make you that because we don't know what that is. I'm sorry, can you say that again? Yeah, Pete, we can't make that for you because we don't know what that is because you're not being clear about what you want. I got it. So what you're saying is in order for you to actually accomplish a goal and to complete it, you've got to know what it is. Yes. Brilliant. So what is your goal? What does it look like? What are you wearing in it? I want you guys to write this down for me tonight. This is going to be a new task, man. This is going to show me who's really serious. And I'm not kidding because when you guys think that I'm giving you these tasks and they're a joke, I want you guys to really watch what we're going to do later on in the program and see the responses that some people were getting to realize that I'm not asking you to do this because I think it's a joke and it's funny. I'm asking you to do this because I want you to get your life to that next level. And these are things that are going to do it. I want you to visualize where you're going to be in five years, where you want to be in five years. And when you do this, I want you to write this down and send this to me tonight, all right? And you can even write it down and then take a picture of it. Actually, that's what I want you to do. I want you to write it down. I want you to take a picture of it and I want you to post it up on, on my wall. Tag me with it and my journey to success, all right? And this is what I want it to be about. I want it to be about what you are in five years. Now, that's a big thing, what you are. What does that mean? That means I want to know what you're wearing. And I want the date to be March 23rd, 2019. March 23rd, 2019. That's the date. You're going to write down a title. This is what happened on this amazing day. And then I want you to write down what happened on the amazing day. I want you to write down what you were wearing. I want you to write down what kind of car you have, you were driving. I want you to write down the house that you live in. I want you to explain it to me in detail. I want to know everything about the house, the car, the clothes, the job, and what amazingly happened that day. Five things, five things, okay? So, um, nope, you know what? Six, I want to know where you traveled to that year. Seven, I want to know what your family life is like. So, all of those things, I want to know. Seven things, all right? And I want you to write that to me tonight. And I don't want you to spend three minutes doing it. I want you to really think about this and write it because I promise you, I promise you that what you write is going to end up happening. So the clearer you create it, the more effective and the faster it will happen. Meaning, if you say, I want to be rich in five years, pow, it's going to happen. You're going to be rich. Those words will happen. Those little tiny words will happen. And I've already explained to you how you're all rich right now. So fantastic. You're there. Good job. Oh, that's not what you wanted, though. You wanted it differently than what it is right now. Okay, well, then write it. Write it. I want you to write it out. Get into it. You know, here's a question. I'd love to know this. Of you guys that have been writing this every single day, the last week with me, is it getting fun now to write down what your goals are? Is it becoming fun to imagine it, to get into it? Because for me, it is. I love it, man. I love it. I get in there, okay, all right, personal. What am I going to do personally? Um, what are my personal goals? What do I really want to do? What do I want to have attained? And a lot of them are kind of the same and they're reworded a little differently, but then all of a sudden something will happen one day and boom, you'll see goals change because I'm like, oh, I really want this. I really want this. 
and then something else will happen. And I really want this, but you're, you'll see them moving, right? They breathe. I mean, that's, that's what a goal is. Now, you don't have to just keep them at five. You can certainly do 20 of them if you wanted per thing. All I'm doing is creating a, 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 guide, a guideline for you. Um, all right. Man, I got to... That one's carbonated. It makes me... Anyways, okay. So, do you believe you can do them? All right. Next, what will you need to attain them? We're going to have to figure that out. What do you guys need to get them done, right? Um, and these are, these are, this is just, this is a little different. This is what, um, this would be more of the goal program as opposed to the goals that we're writing down every day, right? For the goal program, um, that's a two week program. And I'm going to show you that as well. That you're, you're more concerned of how do you get to those two week goals? Cause those are more, they're not tasks, they're goals, right? But they're attainable goals. Okay. Now when you're doing a two week goal, you don't, you don't make it crazy, right? Where in, in the goals that we write down, Writing, I have I have ten million dollars in the bank. That's a good goal. All right, that's a good that's a great business goal. It's clear, it's concise. Ten million dollars. I have ten million dollars in the bank. And if any of you guys write down, I have ten million dollars in the bank, man. Come on, be more be more creative than this. Um, but that's a clear goal, right? Now, I'm not going to be able to do that in two weeks, though. So that's not a good two week goal. Saying I want to create, um, I want to get a house under contract. That's a good two week goal. That's something that is difficult, but you can do in two weeks. Okay. Um, when are you going to start or what do you need to attain them? Well, if your goal was to get a house under contract, what do you need to attain them? I don't know. Are you bird dogging for, for us? Well, then you'd need to have the, um, the 10 minute task and you'd need to be able to have an internet connection and you'd, you'd need to, to have, I'd say an hour a day because if you're just trying to do all this stuff in 10 minutes, that's just stupid and you're never going to get where you want to go and it's time to buck up and, and let's be real about this. All right. A 10 minute task, it's not 10 minutes. If you're only spending 10 minutes and going, how come I'm not reaching my goals when I'm spending 10 minutes a day doing this, then you're just stupid. I mean, because it's you're never going to get where you want to go in 10 minutes a day. What you need to do is have 10 minutes of consistency. That's great because that 10 minutes will start growing and growing and you'll start getting better at it. And then all of a sudden the 10 minutes is 20 minutes and then it's an hour. But what you really need to do is you guys need to stop saying, I'm going to start small because I'm afraid and start going, I'm going to go big. I'm going to dedicate an hour a week to my business this next week. So there's my question to you. Who's going to dedicate? I also want to know in this letter that you guys are going to send me tonight. And this is the other thing. I want to know who's committed to doing this 21 day challenge. Not just on here, but I want you guys emailing me because on here, I, I don't remember. And then me trying to keep track of it is very difficult. So I want an email from you guys going, Pete, I want to do the, the 21 day challenge with you to, to start writing my goals. And I want to be held accountable. That's what I want. I want to do this 21 day challenge and I want to be held accountable. Now, if you want to take it up a notch, go to thinkingtosucceed.com and register to, to become one of the first 15, um, the first 15 coaching uh, students or clients. I don't know. I don't know what I'm like. Apprentices, not clients and not students, apprentices, because this is about bringing you guys up with me. It's about bringing you to the level that you guys can actually coach. And we'll go into that too. But anyway, so what are you going to need to start that goal? So if you do this, ten, this two week goal program, which I want all of you guys to do, what are you going to need to do to start the program? All right. Um, and then what's next for this week? What are you doing this week? So an hour a day, right? What do you need to attain them? You're going to need an hour a day. Let's go ahead and write that in. And I want to know who's down with that hour a day. All right. I want that written to me tonight. And then when are you going to start? And I'm certainly hoping, I mean, tonight you're, you're going to be getting your hour in for sure. All right. But even though if we go two hours tonight, it does not mean that that counts for an hour for tomorrow. That is done. Realize that this is just me giving more as always. You know, it was really cool. I don't say this a lot, but I'm starting to hear it a lot said to me, which really makes me feel good. And that's that I under-promise and over-deliver. And that is absolutely true. My webinars go way long. They do. And at first I felt bad. And then I was like, man, this is stupid. Why, why should I feel bad? Are you kidding me? Yeah, it, it may be difficult for people to sit down for an hour and a half to an hour and 45 minutes to listen to this. But this is awesome information. And it's all actionable. So it's worth it. And I'm not going to shortcut any of the people that do want information for those people that go, well, I don't have an hour and a half, so I'm not going to listen to it. Well, you're an idiot then. I don't know what to tell you because you can listen to these audio recordings over and over and over again in your car. They're all available on iTunes. All you got to do is go to iTunes and, and search Pete Asmus and you can find every single one of our, our, um, 
our podcast. You can download them and, and set them to all download so that you automatically get every single one of them and you don't ever have to worry about it. But there's so many people that will complain and tell you why it won't work, right? And again, it's just going back to why it does. How does it work? And then the other thing is, I, wa I want this to be super clear. And I was going to use a color in this one, but I didn't want to use red for fear and draw more attention to it. But don't let fear prevent you from going towards your dreams. Again, I had somebody ask me today if they could get involved. And they said that, and, and you know, it's weird. I, I thought maybe people aren't writing their goals down and aren't getting involved in this 21 day challenge because they don't see how it'll benefit them or because they think it's dumb or whatever, or they think it's not necessary, right? I know my goals. I don't need that. You know, okay, you're a tough guy, whatever. You don't need to do them. That's stupid, but whatever. Um, and then I realized that that probably isn't it. The reality is, is you're probably afraid to, to write down your goals. You're afraid that your goals may not be right. You're afraid that maybe you don't write grammatically correct. You're afraid that Maybe it's, it's, it's not going to be good and you're going to be made fun of. And the thing is, if anybody makes fun of you, punch them in the face. Who cares? They're jerks, man. I mean, seriously, are you going to let somebody laughing at you prevent you from getting to your dream? Like, that is the nuttiest thing I've ever heard in my life. No. So who cares? If your goals, and let me tell you, if you tag me in them, I'm going to help you work through them. Ask anybody that's, that's been doing this, I've, I've messaged them privately and said stuff going, Hey, try and work it out like this. Maybe look at the way I wrote and look at the way you wrote, see what's different. How do you think that that affects it? Cause I'm not trying to be rude to anybody, but I want them to do better. And I realize that the way I write my goals are very good. And some people don't have experience in it, but I've been doing it for over a year. So yeah, I'm going to be better at it than possibly you that is just starting, but that's okay. Because here's the thing, if I'm not teaching you anything, you're not learning. If you're not giving me wrong answers, then you're not learning. Period. Period. So that means you need to be doing things so that you can be wrong, so that you can be corrected, and then you can be right. And then your comfort zone grows. And I've got some really cool pictures for that for later. All right. So everybody sees my email down here. It is not PDA. Man, gosh dang it. Let me. Oh, no, 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 no. Cancel. Cancel. All right, let me let me go into this real quick. Where's that one? Would you stop? Right here. Whoop. Oh, right here. It's Pete at C2CREIA.com. There we go. So um super easy. Email me, and then I'll probably be giving you other things to email me tonight as well. But that's where we're starting. Holy cow. I've gotten a lot of people writing things. All right, let me see here. Um Thank you, Teresa. I appreciate that. She said, this is an amazing feeling. Uh, motivational even, motivated me even more. Awesome, Rusty. I appreciate that. Um, yes, it does. It does fly, Mike. Okay. So now, now here's a question for everybody over here on the, uh, on the, um, <laughs> shit happens to all of us. That's over here on, on the question and answers. Of you guys that wrote down your goals for the week, how did it make you feel? Um, what did, what did it really, what did it do for you? How did it make you reach the next, like anything positive? And, and we'll actually, um, I'll actually have this where you guys can raise your hands. Does everybody know how to raise your hands on this, by the way? If you go over to that right side, there's a little hand. There you go. Thank you, Gil. Yes, that is exactly how you do that. All right. So of those of you who have done this, that have a microphone, I want to get into this real quick that have written down your goals every day this week. And we did it like this, all right? We had five community, five business, five personal. If you guys want to see how I was doing it, um, I know I told all of you guys to write it down on uh, paper, which I did as well. Um, but because I'm doing videos and I'm doing, trust me, I do a lot of stuff that I'm giving back. It, it really makes it hard if I have to actually do more than, than I'm already doing. So what I've done is I've written them into um, my descriptions of the uh, of my videos every day, right? And so you can see right here, community helped 10,000 people reach their goals in 2014. Um, go make something happen, reaches 5,000 wristbands out of the um, out in the world, inspiring others to go make something happen. The whole Coast to Coast Ria family donates to charity one day a month, meaning we, we give back to charity one day a month, everybody in the Coast to Coast family, which I think is awesome, right? Like if I can... When I can get all those people together doing that, that'll be incredible. 
All right. F3 project, which is our flip for the um, future, has now generated profits totaling over 400,000 um, to give away from three houses that we've uh, flipped. Uh, my daughters have created their own charity for alopecia and are generating real interest um, in their in their charity. OK, so those are my those are my those are my community goals. And, and these changed every single day. Like I rewrote these every single day. OK, business. I have created a successful TV show that focuses on inspiration, which means inspire, educate and entertain. We have given away three vehicles, two houses to from the winners of the home vesting tournaments. Home vesting junior has been created and is awesome. Um, see, that's not really specific, right? But I love the word awesome. So um, the radio show is syndicated around the country and in three other countries, which I just added that today. The syndicated in three other countries. I'd never thought to even add it. And then I'm like, you know what? What about if um, we have generated over 120,000 in cash flow from different vendors, 120,000 in monthly, it should have said. But I guess cash flow makes sense too. But monthly cash flow from different ventures. We have the largest RIA and Expo company in the country. I'm personal. My family is always out to get um, is always together out of choice. See that to me it was a specific thing. I wanted to. There, we're out of we're together out of choice, not because we have to be, but because we want to be. Right. We have traveled all around the world together, doing the TV show, expos, and speaking engagements, inspiring the world around us. I have written over five books that are on the bestsellers list. I speak in front of four to 5,000 people regularly. I'm interviewed on radio, TV, and webcast, and I have created another web series for my girls. And then I have my journey to success so everybody can tap it, right? And then if you go here, we go here, and this is why I had everybody doing that because when you, when you guys write that down, right? And if I go here, let me see somebody that, come on, there's Mike. See, when we do this, we can hit my journey to success and it takes you to actually my journey to success. And you can see what everybody else wrote. And that's where this becomes really cool because then when we start seeing people, like we can now encourage them. And people that, I don't know if you guys all knew each other before, but I'm now seeing like, um, see, look at this. Okay, well, that was cool. Um, Michael, right? He wrote Rusty. Rusty, I don't know if Rusty knew Michael before, but he knows him now. And so now Rusty's encouraging him, right? Which is so, I mean, to me, man, that's so incredible, right? That That's just, come on. Now you're going to start to see me lose my mind. Okay, here we go. Um, you've got Gil running around. Ivan's running around and saying stuff for everybody, right? Come on, close. All right. Um, everybody can still hear me and see me, right? And uh, nothing's freezing up or anything crazy like that. Just real quick. Okay, perfect. Um, and then we even brought in bear, right? I think this is bear, but I don't know because this is freezing up. This is, ah, oh, man. Okay. So, um, there was some other ones on here too, that I thought were really neat that I wanted to show you guys, but the more stories it looks like I'm going to have to go into, um, of where there's Teresa. Sorry. Man, come on. This is so crazy, too, because I've got the fastest internet in the world, it feels like, or it's supposed to be. Um, Mike Jensen writing his again, right? And I, you know what? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm looking for it, but I don't see it. I remember somebody writing somebody else and saying, man, these are so inspirational. And I think it was on Teresa's, but I can't remember at this point uh, whose it was. But the reality is... Um, these are all about helping you guys and inspiring you guys get to that next level. So make sure that you're doing this. Make sure that you're getting involved and that you're writing down your goals because they are helping us get to where we want to go. Um, so out of everybody that's been writing these down, can somebody raise their hand that wants to tell me about um, how this is affecting them real quick as we're doing this? All right, there went a hand. Thank you, Michael. Let me unmute you real quick. All right, Michael, you're live. All right, can you hear me? Yes, sir. All right. Thanks. Um, yeah, what this is really doing is um, it's actually, it makes it feels like there's weight coming off the shoulders a little bit. Um, it also, you know, as you're writing them down, as you're doing the actions that are opposite of your goals, you actually start to realize it. Like um, one of my things is being on time is one of my goals, and now I'm, I'm constantly trying to be on time because I'm writing it down and I'm, I'm – reading every day and so um, when you're like when that. you're realizing that you're going to be late you start to actually feel bad because you realize that you're not hitting your goal right 
Yeah, absolutely. That's um, awesome. So it, 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 it's really... Um, it, yeah. Now, I also worked with you a little bit on the way that you wrote them. How did, how did the way that you write them? Because you started uh, writing them differently, right? Hello? Sorry, Michael. Pete. You're breaking up on me. I'm breaking up. Okay. Am I breaking yeah, up breaking on everybody? Because you sound like you're breaking up on me. Yeah, it's possible. Uh, okay, I just so, got an overload yeah. on my computer. So. It's it's just you, bud, that's breaking up. Um, and, and so I'm probably sound like I'm breaking up to you because you're breaking up a little bit. But that's okay. okay. I think we're good. I think uh, we're good. Okay. So so my question was, how did the way, because when you first started writing them, they were a little bit different than I, I kind of sat down and I said, hey, man, try try doing it like this instead, right? Right. And you started writing them differently, correct? Correct. Yeah. And how did that how did that affect you? Um, it, it actually changed. It actually, uh, like I said, it it started to uh, make me think a little more. Good it, because uh, it, it's it's like like because what you wrote in the beginning was I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, right? And then I said, no, write it as 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 if you've already have if you as if you've already accomplished it, right? Yeah. And that yeah, that it absolutely works. Okay. Perfect, man. I'm sorry. I know that you're 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 breaking up a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and mute you back out real quick, Michael. Thank you so much. Um, anybody else that has done this has, is doing it on a frequent basis that can uh, give us their input here, real quick. Rusty, thank you. All right, Rusty, you're live. Hey, how are you? Good, man. How are you doing? Great, great. Okay, so tell me, Rusty, how is it working for you? Because you have been doing it every single day. Oh, it's been incredibly awesome, but mine actually started uh, a week before I started writing my goals by ordering up some uh, wristbands. Okay. And uh, once they showed up, and I took them out of the package, put them on my desk, and looked at them and said, okay, now what am I going to do with them? Because uh, at my age, 54 years old, I've never worn a bracelet in my life. Right. So <laughs> it took me 24 hours to do it, put one on, and everything just started changing right then. I started writing my goals, and, uh, you know, it was amazing. And I think that's the cool part is it brings it to reality, right? Like when, what is it, what is one of the, you know, now here's another thing. You've also reached out and started inspiring the people around you because you got Bear to come in, right? Yeah. Yeah. I have a, I have a team of people that uh, work with me and support me every day at, at my day job, at my business. And, you know, they see me, I'm a team leader there. And so they see what I'm up to. And then all of a sudden, you know, they, they want to know what I'm doing. And I showed them your uh, journey to success last Sunday night. And uh, Monday, Bear's listening to it. And before he got done listening to it, he was writing his goals down and, and posting it. And then I saw somebody else. There was a girl that wrote that 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 made a comment on yours, too, wasn't there? Yeah, that said yeah, that it, was a, it was a niece out of um, out of uh, Oregon, April. She just uh, thought it was incredibly awesome. And then on her own, she just started writing her goals, posting them. I don't even think she's listened to one of these yet. Man, now tell me, how awesome is that for you? Oh, it was just a shot in the arm. It was incredible. Because I mean, you're, you're inspired. Yeah. I mean, man, by the actions that you're taking, by leading by example, other people are seeing it. And now you've just inspired two other people to start doing it. And you're going to improve their life by, by showing them how you're improving your own. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it's an incredible feeling. It really is. Man, that is so cool. Thank you so much, Rusty. I appreciate it. Okay, so now you guys have heard that. If uh, if anybody else wants to, to talk, we will go ahead and open up those calls in a little bit as well, okay? You guys can go ahead and put your hands down now, um, and we will keep going along. Uh, and then other thing, how did you guys like that? Um, how did you like hearing those those uh, those comments? Because to me... I think, you know, when we talked a little bit about it last week, I think when we unmute a few people and we let everybody talk, it really shows you guys that, look, it's not just me saying this. When you really start giving this, you're 100, you're going to really start getting back 150. Meaning when you really dive in and you accept it and you go, you know what? I don't care what happens. I'm going to do it because I want the results that they're getting. When you do that, everything is going to start opening up for you. When you stop worrying about how other people judge you and look at you and worry about this, and you start only focusing on how are you going to get to your dream? How are you going to reach your destination? 
And that is going to take you guys writing it down. That's going to take creating a business plan on getting there. And sometimes you got to create a business plan for your mindset. And that's what we're doing right now. There's a business plan for business. And then there's a business plan for your mind. Your mind has to know where it's going. And if it doesn't know how to get there yet, it's got to have a really good crystal clear vision of where it wants to go so that it can make the right decisions to get there. Does that make sense? Look, if I don't know how to get where I want to go, but I know I want to go to the tallest building in the world, all I've got to do is keep looking up until I find the tallest building, right? Okay, not the world. Let's say the tallest building in, 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 in um, like New York, right? I'm going to look up, I'm going to find the tallest building and then I'm going to just keep walking towards it. And I'm going to keep making turns based off of where that big giant building is. But if I don't know what it looks like and I don't know what I really want, I don't know where I want to go, I'm just going to just be making turns and walking in different places and hoping that I eventually find something that I appreciate in some degree. Does that make sense? I hope so. All right. So now I wanted to talk to you real quick about the thinking to succeed because I think that this thing is just awesome. Um, first 15 people only for this program. I know I keep saying this, but it's because there is only 15 going to be in it because it's going to be me teaching it. And so there's just a, a lack of time that I have. Um, and I'm going to donate a lot of time to this. The first three months are $97 a month. The second three months are free. They're like the intern part of it. And then every month after that, once you've gone through the six month course, basically you have to go through level one and then get asked to come to level two. Because if you're not paying attention in level one and you don't really care, I'm certainly not going to bring you on to level two so that I can help you now for free, right? That's not going to happen. I want to make sure that, that you're listening to what's going on. And like I said, $97 isn't a lot. So I'm not assuming that, um, come here. I'm not assuming that, uh, it, it, you know, there, there could be people that pay for it and then just aren't really serious. And, and I get that. Um, and so if you go to the second level, the second level is all about, um, interning. And so you're going to be actually working with other people and, and basically coaching kind of, um, and then we're going to have other programs and I'm still developing that aspect of it. And then after that's done, once you're certified, then you're actually going to be a coach if you want to be for thinking to succeed and you'll actually be able to make money off of um, coaching other people that want to come into this program and want to get involved, right? Oh, man, sorry about that. Um, so uh, let's see, what else do we got? Um, all right, so thinking to succeed, this is how it's going to start. We're going to start it with a one-day live event minimum, all right? And what that means is if there's a lot of people local, I may do a two-day event, but I don't think so. It'll probably still just be one day because I want to get everybody going on the same page. The, the event will actually be on a Google Hangout so that if there is anybody like, say, in Boston or you know across the United States or in a different country even, it's all good because they can just get on the Google Hangout. I think we can have like 15 or 16 people on that thing, um, which, again, if the 15 could be, people could make it, then we'd be fine because um, everybody is getting most, most, I'm hoping most will be live. Um, but if they aren't, they aren't. But it'll be a one-day event. And it'll be on Google Hangout and it'll basically get the whole program prepped up and it'll, it, it'll be the first weekend in April, I guess, then because we're going to start at April 1st, right? So that, I guess that would make sense. Um, the program will start April 1st, as a matter of fact. Uh, we'll also start um, on April 1st or April 2nd within that first week before the live event. Everybody will get a one-on-one -on -one call to work with me to basically work out what the goals are for the program, what they want out of the program, and to make sure that they're right for the program because... Look, if, if you're not right, I don't need the money. It's, it's, I'm not, it, again, it's, I would do it for free without the $97 because I don't really care about the money part of it. I want to build something. I want to, I want to create a program that's amazing. I want to help people get to that next level of them, but I need commitment out of it. The other thing I'm willing to do is I'm going to give up two, well, probably three or four more hours because I'm going to do two Google Hangouts every week um, with you guys so that I make sure that we're all face to face seeing each other. Um, and getting to that next level. And they won't be on the journey to success days or any of the other webinar days because those are happening. So really, it'll almost be like, man, almost every day you'll be able to visually see me and get pumped up and jacked in and stay and stay tuned in. I'm also going to create a um, Facebook group so we can all jump on that. And that'll be uh, secret. So nobody else will be able to see anything that's written on there. So you guys don't have to be embarrassed or anything like that. 
um, or shy or, or afraid or, you know, worried about other people seeing what you're writing or the possibility, possibilities or, or any of that stuff. Um, and then uh, the ability to be in the first class section of, oh, the ability to be in the first class um, of the Thinking to Succeed apprenticeship, meaning that part of this will also be designing out how this program is going to work out because we're going to be working with you and going, okay, well, how does this working? How is this affecting you? And if it's not working well enough, we're going to change it up and make it better. And you guys are going to be part of creating this program and creating this, this, this amazing movement, man. And so for me, it's important and I, and I'm, I'm loving it. Um, and I'm, I'm extremely excited about what we have going on and doing this program. And I've, I've wanted to do this for almost a year now. I think I've had the name thinking to succeed. I've had the domain, I think for almost a year. Um, and I haven't done anything with it till now. It's taken that long for me to really see a program that I could put together that would make sense, that wasn't going to kill people, but was also going to help them. And it doesn't matter what you want to do in life, man. It could be real estate. It could be driving a truck. It could be being a politician. This program will help you get wherever it is that you want to go. Because it, it doesn't matter. It's not based off of a strategy. It's based off of you. It's how to get you to the next level of you. But plan on doing a lot of, of, of you work. All right. Plan on getting outside of that comfort zone. Okay. So that's enough about that. Let's see. Do you guys have any questions on any of that? Yes, you are, Rusty. You are all in. That's right. Whoa. We got fast there. Wait. Back up. Um, okay. If you guys do have questions, we can we can go over those later as well. All right. Goals are the blocks that support your success. I love this too. Goals support success, right? You can you can read it either way. But it is true. So tonight, what I want you guys to also write me, in addition to those other two pieces of homework, are this, is this right here, an eight-week goal. You're going to write down whatever your eight-week goal is, all right? Wherever you want to be in two months. Now, this is a 10-week course, but in two months, because really that this class or this webinar and the last webinar, this is the intro, the last one's the outro, and the middle ones are the meat of the, of the subject. So that's your eight weeks. In that, in this two months, what do you want to have accomplished? Where do you want to be in two months? I want you to visualize where you want to be. What do you want to have accomplished? And I want you to write that goal in there. Don't make it stupid and ridiculous. Make it realistic, but make it a stretch. Make it so it's going to take a little bit of work to get to, right? It shouldn't be easy. Should not be easy. And it should take more than one person to get this done. All right? Then I want you to write out a four-week goal that supports your eight-week goal. All right? So let's say you wanted to wholesale a property, all right? I want to wholesale a property within eight weeks. Within four weeks, I'm going to have to have a property under contract, period. Have to. There's no way I'm going to wholesale it in eight weeks if I don't even have it under contract within four. Within two weeks, I've got to have a property located and I'm looking at, right? So the, the reality is there's all steps in order to make it have happen. Now, here's another thing. Well, what if you don't succeed? Okay, you start over again. The question is, how many, how many houses do you have to get under contract before you're able to wholesale one? If you don't know that number, you haven't done enough. That's the, that's the honest truth. Because once you hit the, the number, you're going to go, it takes me 10. And the reality is it should not take you 10 again. It should take you maybe nine. But let's say it takes 10, 10, 10, then nine, then eight. Because the more you do it, the better you get at, the better you get at, the more efficient you get at it. The more efficient you get, the more you do, the more frequently. So this whole thing is all about how to get you better at what you do, whatever it is. So where do you want to be each week? Basically, we're building a pyramid, right? So we've got to have a good foundation, and then we just keep stepping it up, all right? We're going to reverse engineer it just like we did with our other goals, okay? So uh, with that, any questions on that? Looks like you guys are still all a-okay. Here is our goal tracking program. And all you have to do is go to c2crea.com, c2crea.com, and you can check out that goal pro tracking program. It's right up there. It's a tab. In fact, um, let me show you. If we go uh, to c2c, c2crea right here, and goals program, just click on that link. It'll take you right here. Set your goals give you a whole thing about how easy it is to do it. Just input your information, write down whatever your goal is, write down whatever your why is and hit submit and you're done. It's that simple. Um, speaking of which being on here, I just love this, this area. If you guys don't haven't already connected with us in all these different ways, make sure you go here 
and check out all the different ways you can connect with us um, and make sure that you've, you know, all of our different pages, our like pages and everything else like that. Um, and then we also have all of our webinars right here, which you guys are on the best one, Journey to Success. We also have uh, the Ivan Oberon's Bird Dog. Whoa, come on now. Our Alpha event, which everything's just taking a while to load. There we go. The Experts Corner, the... Um, the credit one right here. And then we also have our SEO, which is coming up next week. We're doing this one again on Tuesday. After, um, after we do a couple of these, uh, a couple more, there's going to just be one for the experts corner. I was making so you, you register for each of them independently. And it was like crazy nuts me trying to keep track of all of it. So as soon as I think at the end of April, I'll end up wiping all this out and it'll just be experts corner. And you can just register for that. So it's super simple just like these ones are and be real basic. And then the cool part of these is look at this, how easy. Okay. Well, that didn't work out like I wanted it to. Um, I don't know why that one's not doing it right now, but this is what I love that they just have the pop-ups real quick. And so you can register for them super easy, put your information in there and go. Um, anyways. Okay. So that's easy. That's that um, very simple goal program. And then let's get going. All right, so steps to creating success. We're in the intro right now, and the reason is you. Look, forcing is an action, right? Success is created. You got to stand on the books you read to achieve the success that you want to reach, and then you've got to have a millionaire's comfort zone. Now, a millionaire's comfort zone, they don't really have a comfort zone, and you're going to see what I mean in a second here. So forcing is an action. And I love this. I, I just wanted to put these little quotes here. I don't know if we really need them because we're going to have pictures to go with the other ones. So I'm going to just go ahead and go through this. Um, first one is forcing is an action. Look, you've got to make things happen. Success is like a Japanese carp. It can only grow to the size of its environment. Success is only limited by your dreams. So create the biggest possible environment for your carp to grow. The bigger your dreams, the bigger your probability for success. Because again, 10 times in that goal that when you reach for it so far, even when you come up short, you've surpassed your original mark. Does that make sense? You guys see what I mean about how you want to get to where you want to go, right? Um, and let's just see here. Okay. And you guys can all still hear me, right? Just to make sure that everybody can. I'm not just crazy. Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> so you guys can respond. You're just choosing not to. Got it. Point noted. All right. Forcing is an action. Let's go to our second one. Coming on up this second end. There we go. I love this one. Look at that. Isn't that a crazy picture? Golly, it just makes me, I just want to grab it. All right, success is created. I will show you how to effectively create success, money, change, and make it last. To really be successful, you need to have lasting changes. You guys, when you guys get excited about a strategy, a concept, an idea, and you do it for a week, for a minute, for a, 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 a an hour, right? You got to realize that Nothing is going to be handed to you. Nothing. You have to create it all. Everything that you want out of life, if you really want it, go out and make it happen. Go out and create that environment. Create that, create the environment that will allow that, that, that whatever it is to happen. You want to be in a movie? Create the environment to make that happen. Go out and become an actor. Do the da da da. You know what I mean? Like all that stuff. You want to be a real estate investor? Create the environment for that to happen. Ensure that you're getting up, you're going to RIAs, you're going here, you're meeting people, you're networking, you're talking about what you're wanting to do, you're writing goals, you're putting out ads. Make sure you're doing and creating an environment that will create that success. Does that make sense? I hope that you guys understand what I'm saying because to me, this part is, is everything. Understanding why you're doing what you want to do and then stand on the books you read to achieve the success you want to reach. Look, there's nothing that's to it that, that's that's out of your reach. Nothing. You want to reach higher, start reading more books, get more education, get more knowledgeable, and then take action. I don't mean create this great stair, this this great stairwell with books, right? And then not climb it. That's what a lot of you guys do. You hear that? Oh, well, okay. So I'm gonna go and read so I can be successful. And you read all these books. And it's like, well, what did you do? What did you do with any of that information? Well, nothing. I mean, I went in and then I started reading that book and then I started reading that book and then I started reading that book and then I started reading that book. Okay. So you're reading all these books, but you're not applying any of the information. Well, because I'm scared. 
Well, then that brings up this. Let me tell you, that's your comfort zone, guys, right there. And 98% of the population lives inside of it. They don't get outside of it. They don't want to. They're lazy. They're surviving, leaving paycheck to paycheck, having a mediocre life. I love these, just getting by. They're fear. They're fearful. They have depression, right? Depression, settling for less, killing time. Have you guys ever been killing time? Ah, oh, man, I just can't wait for this day to be over. Can't just, I just can't wait for this day to be over. Who says that? Have you ever been having fun going, man, I just can't wait for this fun to be over? No. People that say, I can't wait for it to be over, hate what's going on and they can't wait for it to be over. I love my life. I want it to slow the F down, man. I don't want it to go faster. I used to. I used to, to, to drown myself in watching movies. I used to drown myself in, in, in escaping. But now... I have nothing to escape to, man. In escaping, the, the, the movies aren't nearly as cool as my life is. Because I don't get any of the stuff on the movies. I just get to watch it happen to other people. And that's not even real. My life is real. I get to make things happen in my life. I get to create things in my life. In fact, I'm getting to create everything I've ever wanted. But it's because I got outside of the comfort zone. It's because I looked at the 2%, and I'm certainly not where I want to be, I'm still in, I'm still hanging out with you 98%, all right? I, all of us, we're all hanging out together, but I want to be in the 2% and I'm doing everything I can to be over there. So what are you doing? Are you complaining? Are you killing time? Are you just getting by? Or are you living with confidence? Are you taking life with passion? Are you looking and living with happiness and fulfillment, prosperity, stability, right? Living without limits. That's what you need to be doing. Stop focusing on what you don't have. Focus on what you do have and then jump the crazy, just jump out of your comfort zone. I wanted to use some other explanative, you know, adjectives, but I can't right now. <laughs> so I will say jump out, right? It's, it's all about, let me hear, let me show you what I mean. You got to, you, where is it? Oh man, sound bites. Come on. See, I don't understand. It should be. They used to be right here. I don't know. Maybe I threw it out. I, I used to have the, the song, though, Jump. Might as well jump. And now I don't see it anywhere. So, but I, I got to have more cowbell. I got cowbell. So if that, if that means anything to anybody. Um, all right. Let me get a little bit more water here, and we will keep moving on. It's crazy too. We keep get, getting more people. We're at, we're now up to sixty five. Um, so welcome everybody, and especially the few uh, new people that just jumped on. I can tell now that people realize that uh, they know that if my webinar start at six, it's okay. <laughs> you can be you could jump on at seven. You're still gonna just be halfway through the webinar anyways. Um, all right, being healthy, time with family. Now, this is one of my favorite pictures in the world. Honestly, that's your comfort zone right here. And this is where all the magic happens. And so many of you get caught up in this and you build walls so high around your comfort zone with, I don't want to be uncomfortable. I don't want to, man, you don't understand though. Like you don't understand. Like I'm comfortable here. I want, but I want everything, but I, I don't want to step outside of it. And the thing is guys, if everything you wanted to achieve was inside of your comfort zone, you'd already have it. You'd already have it. It'd already be there. But the reason that you want more is because it's not. What you want isn't inside of your comfort zone. What you want isn't in the, even inside of your network. You need to jump and grow your network, period. Yeah, but Pete, I mean, I've got you now. I've got Ivan. Look, I don't care. You need to grow your network. Keep growing it. Keep growing it. It'll never be big enough. Your network will never be big enough, ever. So keep growing it. Get outside of your comfort zone. Realize that you, man, amazing, right here. You've got a balloon, guys. I wish I had a balloon up here. Man, we had balloons too. But you guys are your own balloon. And you need to start giving your balloon away because somebody else needs it and it's going to be the perfect thing that's going to that's gonna make them happy, that's going to make them successful. You've got tools that other people need. 
So start offering those tools out. Explain to people where you want to go so people can offer you their balloons as well. Does that make sense? I mean, I hope so because this is seriously probably one of my favorite webinars. The balloon at webinar. It's all about balloons. You want to, you want to get a balloon, you want to give a balloon. But you really want to create that success. And that success is going to come from you offering your awesomeness. That's everybody's awesome, right? Everybody is awesome. You guys are awesome. So go out and show people how amazing you are. You keeping it, 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 it closed up and, and hidden in a closet is completely ridiculous. You being shy and afraid to get out there is completely stupid. Write your goals. You are amazing and you're awesome. So write them down. Show people what you're doing. I promise you, you're going to be inspiring other people. I promise you, other people will reach out to help you get where you want to go. But the first step is always going to be you helping other people. It just is. It takes that. It takes that belief. You need to find ways to help others. You've got so many tools that you have. Use them. I mean, you know, we talk about writing and taking a picture, right? I don't know if you guys saw. I don't know if any of Christopher's pictures were here. I don't think he showed one today, which is kind of crazy. He usually always does. Um, okay, there we go. Come on now. But you can see how everybody's right, taking pictures of what they write, right? Now, this is a ring binder, which I think is good because um, you want to keep these so that you can see them later. All right. Again, good. Um, that's Mike's again. Now, Gil was doing this where he had them in open books, although I think that's actually in a binder now where he had them loose paper. But but we were telling him Ivan actually hit him up and said, hey, man, make sure you're uh, doing that. But you can take these pictures on Instagram. And what's cool about Instagram is that you can tag me. You can tag um, my journey to success. And then it actually kicks it out over Twitter, over um LinkedIn over Facebook, all of it. I mean, it just, it, it hits everything and allows you to get your, your message out there. And again, when people see how positive you are and how you're reaching out to help other people and what your goals are, it's going to inspire that. What is going on, man? There's not that many days. I guess Christopher fell off. I don't know what's going on. Usually all of his stuff was right there. Every day when I got up, I saw it, but, uh, I don't, I know it's, this is taking forever because we're doing this and we're recording and we've got video going and all that stuff. There you go. There's one. Okay. So come on, man. This is cool. This is an Instagram picture. All right. All he did was, and I mean, he's even making them like completely visually appealing as well, which is kind of cool. He's doing borders on them and stuff, but writes down his goals, writes down what he wants to do and then tags it. And now it's kicked out to everybody. Um, and we can all see it. So to me, that's cool. I, I, oop, hello. There we go. And uh, and anyway, so there we go. Um, also, okay, nobody has any questions. Now, this is one of my favorite things. Here's what you need to do. You want to have a millionaire comfort zone? This is what you do. Here's your comfort zone currently, all right? And you're going to break out of it, doing something that else, something that matters, something that, that's, that's significant, right? And now here's your new comfort zone. So then we just push that back over here. Boom, we repeat. We do it again. Do it again do it again, do it again. You just keep breaking it and opening up your comfort zone and creating it to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until it's huge. But live outside of your comfort zone. Make it so that everything's your comfort zone. Smiling is your favorite, right? Your comfort zone is everywhere now. It's, it's everywhere. There, you don't have an outside of your comfort zone because everything is comfortable to you. You enjoy doing it. Realize that you are your own Man, you're your hero. You're your own hero. You can do everything that you've always wanted to do. It's time for you to start believing in it. It's time for you to just start following through. Um, all right. So that brings us to our Q&A time. If any of you guys have any questions, please raise your hand um, and let me know. I can answer anything. Now, I know, Jonathan, you're on here. I know that you were you were saying that you were writing down your goals, but you weren't tagging them. You weren't doing the hashtags, which is why nobody could find them. And I, I couldn't see them unless I had happened to see it right when you posted it. But I don't know where they are. I, I, I don't know where to find them. So make sure that you guys hashtag the um, C to C in here. Let me show you what I mean. Oop, hey, don't do that. 
the hashtag where did i put that i thought i put it uh man i don't know what i did with that i i had one i had the whole hashtag thing somewhere but i must have uh oh no it's right there there you go the hashtag my journey to success right there so when you guys do it, just tag me and use that hashtag right there. And every time you do it so that we can click on that and it basically, what that hashtag does is filter everything. It's like a magnet. So anything with that hashtag, it magnetizes it and it brings it right over to an area so that everybody can see it. And we can all, again, I think that's the power of what we're doing is everybody being able to have input, everybody being able to see the benefit and see what other people are writing and then we're all able to um, inspire. We're all able to encourage each other. And that's really the point of uh, everything. <laughs> Jonathan, I had my daughter show me how to do it so I can start doing it correctly. That is psh, high five. That's awesome, man. Um, and it, you know, anytime you guys need help, reach out. I mean, that's the whole point. And again, we'll end up having a, a, a their, our own um, what page or, or group or whatever. So anyways, um, let's see, back to, back to live, back to real. Okay, does anybody have a question real quick? Doesn't look like anybody had any, so we can just keep moving on. You guys know our website. We're almost done here, so this has been a rather short one. Go to our calendar tab to see who's going to be on the, um, who's going to be on the show. Like last week, Skip's on right now. He was on last week's show. It was awesome. Check out that show on uh, Thursday's show he was on. Um, we've got our webinars that, that we do on a weekly basis. We've got three of them, right? And they're almost every other day. So we've got the journey to success like tonight. We've got Experts Corner on Tuesday. And then on Thursday, we have the Bird Dog to Intern. Um, and we're also going to be having some other opportunities coming up very shortly, man. So get, I'm telling you, just get prepared for a lot of really cool stuff. And the closer you are to us, the more you're going to benefit. That's all there is to it. It's like I, I <laughs> it's like getting to know us on the ground floor, right? We're just we're building this company and it's just about to take off. So make sure you're attached to us, you're close to us because we're all about helping people. I mean, honestly, you can go back, listen to everything we've ever said. We're always consistently about helping you. You've got to help you too, but we're all about helping you reach that next level of you. All right? You can check out all of our podcasts that we put up. Our message line, our call in line tomorrow is Monday, which is, um, that's the viewer day. So any of you guys have any questions about real estate, motivation, anything, call in, let us know. We'd love to hear from you. Um, I love having callers on. I, I, it's, it's fun to me. It makes it more engaging, right? Okay. Um, now, let's see. Gil, are you on here? I'd like to get your input on what you did. You are. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to un... Okay, this is freaking me out. What are you doing here? I don't know why you're... Okay. Um, Gil, do you... Uh... Gil, you're hot right now. How... Um... <laughs> you're hot. How, how has your <laughs> week been going? It's been going great, thank you. you. You've done this every day. You've been writing down your goals. Now, you've been doing it for a little bit longer, in fact, because you, you did it after you watched Sean Archer, right? The happiness, about happiness. Yes. Now, how has this affected your life in the last, because you've actually completed that 21-day challenge, right? Yeah, I actually I completed it uh, yesterday, so yesterday was my last day. And how did that feel when you were done with that? Do you ever, do you want to stop writing your goals now? Uh, no. It, it felt great. It felt great because it's something I never did, and people supported me. People liked it. People were commenting. And by the time I got done with it, it was just great. People were like, man, you're a winner. You're a champion. You did it. And then that just felt great. Were you afraid to do them at first? Were you afraid what people would think? I was afraid just to put myself on, on video and look at myself on video. That's true. You've been doing that too, man. And you're actually killing it on that. You've been getting a lot of support on your videos as well. Yeah, and that's something, I mean, I was really uncomfortable doing that. I was really uncomfortable with just seeing myself on video and hear myself on video. And it's just, but the more I did it, the more comfortable I got. And the more I could see okay, well, I need to work on this presentation or I need to work on this. So it actually helped me right. become a page when I'm talking to people on the phone even. That's the real key. When you watch yourself on video, you start to see, when, you, when you're talking on video, right, and you, you film yourself, what you guys don't understand is the reason that you want to do that is so that you start seeing how other people see you. Point blank. 
I mean, if you if you don't understand that when you talk, right, you're constantly doing this and you just don't know that you're doing it and it's really weird, right? And people are like taken aback by it, but you don't know you're doing it. You don't know you have a tick until you video it and you start watching what's going on. And then you're like, man, I I like touch my 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 temple a lot, or I I adjust my hat a lot, or I'm you know what I mean? Or you're doing like weird things with your hands. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like for real. And when you get nervous, you go into these ticks constantly. So when you first start videoing, you're going to be doing these ticks all the time, which is awesome because it really shows you where you can start helping out and developing your own personal um, brand, I guess, for lack of a better word. Does that make sense? It makes total sense. Okay. Thank you. Anything else that you would like to say that, that you really um, got out of doing the 21-day uh, challenge with Sean Archer? Just that or acre. your life could be whatever it wants to be as long as you know what it is that you want it to be. So A clear um, description of it, right? Right. You need clarity. If you don't know where you're going, then how do you know if you're going the right direction? That's right. Awesome, man. Thank you very much, Gil. I appreciate it. All right, thanks. Okay, cool. So um, you guys can see that, that there's a ton of stuff for you guys to grow from. There's a ton of stuff for you guys to get engaged with. My question is, are you guys going to get engaged now? Are you going to step up? Are you going to be like Mike? Are you going to be like Rusty? Are you going to be like Gil? Are you going to be like Teresa? Are you going to be like Bear? Are you going to step up and go, you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to start writing down my goals because I want to see my life change. I'm, I'm willing to take five minutes a day to change my life. Are you willing to take five minutes a day and start changing your life? I mean, my God, how can you think that you're going to get where you want to go if you can't even take five minutes and write your goals down? Now, if you're going to tell me, well, I'm afraid of what other people think, great. Write your goals down, take a picture of them and email them to me. Show me that you're at least doing it. If you're afraid of what other people think, then show me what you're doing. But the, the, the fact is, I think that that's not even it. It's just, A, you think life gets in the way. It's too much time. It's too odd. I don't know this. And then you're kind of scared. And you know what? If you're afraid to do it, but you know you should, well, we know what that means, right? Then you must. You must. If you should, you must. You don't want to shit all over yourself, right? Nobody wants to shit over here and shit over there and shit there and there and there and there. And then all of a sudden you've got shit everywhere, right? No, man. It's all about doing things. You must do it. Should only means that you, mm -hmm, hey, you didn't. But must, you've got to. You've got to complete it. You've got to do it. You've got to make it happen. And you guys, again, man, you are so awesome. I just want you to step outside of that comfort zone and start seeing the level of damage you can do to your success, all the walls that are in the way. You can, you can just annihilate them. That's how powerful you are when your clarity, when your vision, when you're laser focused on where you want to go. But most of you, you're running around like this and you're like, I don't get it. I don't understand what's going on. I can't, I can't see anything. Well, right. Because you're not staring at anything. You put a blindfold over yourself. So now is the time for you guys to step up and go make something happen. All right. And then this cool little thing right here, you could push play on this between uh, 10 and 11 AM Pacific. And you can hear our, our radio show Monday through Friday on Bloomberg um, happens every week. And let's see what else. We got our the daily motivational videos, which, man, they are getting so freaking cool. I am so excited about the stuff I'm learning to do right now. And I mean, today's video is like, I think, five times better than yesterday's video because I learned how to put in laugh tracks and sound effects and stuff that I didn't know how to do before. And um, I'm just finding all these other cool things. And it's like, I feel like it's like the goals. Like, it's becoming fun for me to create these videos and and make them like, interesting to watch and, and, and fun to watch. And I don't know, man, it's, it's, again, it's about pushing the envelope. It's about pushing your boundaries, pushing that comfort zone and making things fun and entertaining. And so, you know, if you like these videos, man, please share them, uh, like them, share them, get them out there. Cause we want to inspire the world. I mean, that's the only thing I can say is that I, I truly want to inspire the world around you, around us, around everyone. Um, today's radio show, obviously that's whatever radio show happened. This one was Fridays. We were talking about Atlanta. That was a great one. You can download. This is what we're talking about. The things we just went over are in that book. I'm pointing at this thing and, oh, you guys can see me, but not nobody on the podcast can see me. Anyways, 
Um, force your dreams into reality right there. You can download it absolutely free, super easy. Our assisted living facilities, you guys can train up, uh, train up. You can sign up for the webinars on that at c2calf.com. Um, here's what's happening next week. We are going to be for all of you that live locally, Marietta. We are going to be having our Marietta chapter meeting. Um, that's going to be at the Yard House in Temecula at 6.30 on Wednesday night. So that's going to be awesome. Monday's call is all about you. Tuesday, we have Jillian Sidoti on. That night, we are going to be doing uh, the SEO webinar with Justin. So it's going to be number two on the SEO bandwagon of how to get SEO leveraged. And the last one was, was awesome, man. Seriously, if you have not watched it, you need to watch it. You will understand why I'm so excited about SEO stuff. Um, Wednesday, we have Austin McDonald, who is a pilot. He flies a G5. He has started a, um, a really cool charity um, for, for helping people. And the way he does it is about um, having birthday parties. And basically, they, they have this cool event and everybody goes there and then it's donated to a charity. And I'm actually going to let him explain it. But he, um, he flies for a lot of uh, famous people and he's just he's got a cool story, cool life. And he does some real estate stuff, too. Um, but it, it's going to be fun. It's mostly about his charity that we're going to be talking about that night, obviously yard house Thursday, Tony Alvarez for all of you guys here in Southern California, you know who I'm talking about. If you aren't in Southern California, make sure you listen to Thursday's call. I promise you, he just did a, a an event yesterday and it was sold out. The guy is awesome. Um, super fun too. Uh, Thursday night, Ivan Obron's bird dog to intern coaching call. And then Friday, we're going to have Amy Resden, who is a coach for um for fortune builders she's a, a realtor out in atlanta she's going to be helping us out in atlanta and we're going to be talking to her about some of the opportunities and stuff that's coming up there as well so that will be cool um let's see what else and there it is right there april in atlanta i love that code word by the way early bird ends tonight to save 500 dollars. that ends tonight so if you guys were interested in coming for only 1497 and that is actually just a deposit towards the purchase of a property. Um, if you guys are interested in doing that, make sure you get a hold of us tonight and get that locked down so you save that $500. If you have it and you're going to have it on Tuesday or whatever and you just don't have it right now, but man, if we could just hold on a second, make sure that you guys email Ivan at Ivan at C2CREIA.com and see if he can do anything to help you. I'm not saying he can because we've been announcing this for like a week and a half now, two weeks, but there may be something that we can do. Um, also if you needed to, maybe you could just do half now and half in a couple of weeks, we could do that for you as well tonight. Um, so it's just about what, what kind of options you need. Again, we're all about creating solutions. So I'm not worried about how it won't work. It doesn't matter to me. It won't work that way. I just want to know how it will work. If you want to come and you're really, man, you know that you want to come and you understand the value of what we're going to be doing there, then, then get a hold of us. We'll make it happen. We'll, we'll create a solution for you. All right. Um, what else? Allergic to Average, there's our radio show again, like we talked about. Force your dreams into reality, successful people read, and then PeteAsmus.com. Guys, what questions do you guys have? I want to open it back up again because I really liked the ending. I like how we, you can't see, Pete, you can't see you. You guys can't see me right now or you can? I don't understand. You are showing slides of if full screen. Um, okay. So, oh, oh man. So all you could do is see me is what you were saying, or you couldn't see me. Can't see the slides. That sucks. All right. Let me go back again. Where were we at when you couldn't see the slides real quick? Um, man, I don't know when you guys said that, uh, t-shirts with shit all over yourself. Yes, that would be awesome, right? Don't shit all over yourself. And and uh, it's S-H-O-U-D, right? Um, tell me where we were, guys, that you'd stop seeing the slides at the very beginning. What? Wait, you could see me? Or, now, now I'm really confused. I don't understand what's going on. I don't know if you guys could see me or couldn't see me or the slides, but here are the slides. You guys could see this part, right? Could you see that? Q&A. Okay, so before the Q&A, got it. Um, whoa, there we go. Okay, so we're at the Q&A now. I don't know why that was all weirded out. Um, but 
this is our deal. Um, our website, as we went through it, all the different things we can do that I talked about. And then we've got our assisted living. This is what's happening. If you guys are going to be in Temecula and all that stuff, um, our April in Atlanta, the coast to coast successful people read and that that was all really right so you guys didn't really miss that much did you although i'm just wondering what it's going to look like on the video now okay anyways so that's our show for tonight um what i'd love to hear from you guys now is what kind of of um what kind of questions do you guys have what do you guys want to talk about now what can we what can we do that'll get you guys to the next level? If you guys have a question, raise your hand. Or is that what the question thing is? Is that what that means? It's, it looks like there's a question box, but I'm not sure. Or maybe that's when you guys write in the questions and that lets me know that you guys just wrote something. Um, that could totally be it. I'm still not sure how all this stuff works. All right. So recap on our... Recap on what was that, Mike? Michael, re... Could you recap our HW? I missed some of it because I had to reboot my computer. Um, homework. Oh, the homework. Okay. So homework tonight is going to be one. You're going to write out um, a, a letter, basically, or, or you're going to, it's going to start with today, today on March 23rd, 2019. It was awesome because... You're going to write out what, why, what was awesome, what happened that day that was awesome. This is five years from now. And you're also going to write what your life is like. You're going to write what you're wearing. You're going to write what kind of house you live in, what kind of car you drive, where you live. How does it smell? What does it look? I mean, the more detail-oriented you are, the better. This should not be half a page long at all. This should definitely be a few pages when you're writing this. And you're writing this for you, not for me, for you. I promise you, in five years when you look back on this, I'm going to show you guys something here real quick. God, I hope I don't disconnect anything. Um, okay, this is to volume. This is to my power. So everything should still be fine. God, please don't, un don't, un don't, don't. I don't know if you guys can see this thing right here, right there. Um, and I can't pull this thing out anymore. But what that says over there, and let me see if I can see it on here. No, don't cancel the webinar. Don't, nope, I want to go. Okay. This little thing right here, what that says is, and if I could swing this over there, I would. Remember three months from this date, good things are in store for you. That happened to me. Today was 131.14. So on 430.14 is when that's supposed to come true. Now, the crazy part about that is when I tell you what's going to be happening. Whoa, that's right. They're going to launch some stuff out of here. When I, when I share with you guys this week what we're about to, un, what we're about to be representing and, and part of, man, you're going to see why that is so significant because by 4:30 I'll bet you there's going to be a lot of stuff that's different. And I expected it. I taped it up there because I'm like this is going to happen. Watch, this is going to be amazing. And because I expected it to be amazing and I expected something to happen, it is. And so I want you guys to write down what you expect to be awesome, what you expect to be amazing. So that's one thing, all right? Um so that's what you're writing down that today was so awesome because of this. Um and then up at the front, I remember we were talking about something. What were our other things? So you're going to also join the goal program. No. What was the other things, guys? There was, there was, um, there was a few things, right? So you, you had to write down the house, your family, the car, what your life is like. And then on that, you were also going to put a couple other things. Do you guys, does anybody else? I'm sure somebody else wrote this down, right? Wrote down what the homework was. Um, can somebody tell me what the homework was real quick? And then that would be awesome. Uh, eight weeks, that's right. So you also need to write down your eight-week goals. Thank you very much. Um, which is right here. Where are those eight-week goals? I don't know what, where'd they go, man? This is crazy. 
There we go. So goals to support your success right here. You're going to write down your goals, where you want to be in eight weeks, then where you're going to be in four weeks that supports the eight weeks, the two weeks that support the four weeks. All right. So that's going to be another thing that you're going to be sending in. Um, and then I think there was something else. I'm pretty sure there was three things, but I'd have to go back and listen to it. And that's the other thing you can do, Mike. Um, once I have this thing up, uh, oh, the goals for five years. Yeah, I said that. Just go back and re-listen to the beginning of this, Michael. In fact, I, I mean, if I were you guys, I listen to these things over and over again. So I'm constantly listening and re-listening because it's all about growing. It's all about getting better at what I do. And we get better at practice. You know, when Gil started writing down his goals, he wasn't as effective as he is now. His goals are getting better. Michael's goals are getting better. Mike's goals are getting better. When you practice, you get better. Teresa's doing a great job. Rusty, Bear, all of you guys. So the, the, the big thing is, it's now time to step up. Let's go. Let's have some fun. Let's really attack our goals and reach a new level of us. And so I know you guys said you were in. That's the other thing that I asked is everybody to email me so I know who's in on this 21-day challenge. I want to know. I want to know if you're in or if you're just saying you're in. Are you in or are you just pretending? Because if you're in, I expect to see your goals every single morning. Period. I expect to see them. So when you're not, I want to make sure that I have the right names that I can start lighting people up going, what's going on? I don't understand. Why are your goals not here? And then the other thing is, man, get involved. If you're interested in the thinking to succeed, again, there is only 15 spots. That's it. Um, and this is going to be a, a three month course. So it's not like you can wait till next month that you're not going to be wait. You're going to be waiting until what we're in March. So we're starting April, April, May, June, July, August, like September. Um, July through September would be the next possible entry point into this program. So at any rate, it's up to you though. Um, cause I don't want to force anybody to do it because if you don't want to do it, I certainly don't want you to be part of this because a virus I'm going to cut out quickly. Um, if you're not on board, if you're not, if you're not doing everything you can to make sure that, that it's happening, I'm not interested. Um, I, I don't want to, I don't want to donate more of my time to somebody who's not worth, uh, willing to donate their own time to their own success. So with that guys, thank you so much for being on tonight. I appreciate it. Make sure you guys have a wonderful night. Remember as always, I'm, I'm always want number one. And also remember that when we started from the bottom, now we're you start from the bottom, you got nothing to lose. You know, that's why people that, 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 that they talk about, man, you've got nothing to lose. You don't have to worry about anything. Yeah. If you are starting from zero, you've got nowhere to go but up. You've got nothing to lose. So make sure that you're attacking every day with every single ounce of your energy. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in tonight. Thank you for being on the call. If you have any questions, please always let me know. Um, and, uh, with that, I think we're good. Valerie, wait, you said car house, closed job. What amazingly happened where, oh, where I traveled this year. That's right. And then why my, fa why my life, um, why my life, why I like my life. All right. Perfect. Valerie, thank you guys. Get involved, get engaged. And I look forward to seeing you guys all week long on my journey to success. Have a great day. I'll see you guys soon.